Utilizing another work tool available to our customers is that hydraulic pin grabber quick coupler. And you notice he's dropped that bucket off. And what he's done is he's actually left it to show you compatibility between our trapped excavators and our wheeled excavators. Coming in over here to your right is our M322F wheeled excavator. Notice uh, this machine is also equipped with that work tool. It does have that hydraulic uh, pin grabber quick coupler. Same, same model or version that you saw on that tracked machine. And he's gonna simply reach over there and pick up the same bucket. So for our contractors in the field to help reduce owning and operating costs, instead of having multiple buckets for all of their different machines, they can actually have several that are critical to each of those job, job sites and just, uh, just switch or uh, change those buckets in between the different uh, machines. You notice here, you did a, put a little pressure against the ground from a safety perspective. And these wheeled excavators, they come, customers ask, you know, we need something that's mobile and something that's versatile. So not only do we have the work tools that provide versatility, but having this machine on rubber tire undercarriage allows this machine to, to move itself around from job site to job site. No more do we have to put this on a truck and trailer and transport it to one job site to the next. This machine can actually road itself there. Uh, also from a versatility standpoint, that, as I said, compatibility with buckets as well as work tools. They could put hydraulic hammers if they have the auxiliary lines equipped on the end. I do wanna call your attention on this M322F, it has the mono boom style. So basically, you're looking at the same house boom and stick that you saw on that track excavator a little earlier. This machine, <coughs> excuse me, does come standard, uh, standardized with uh, stabilizers on all four corners. You notice he only has the front stabilizers down working this hard compacted material. It does provide more stability for that machine on those rubber tires, but it also helps increase that breakout force. Now this machine, you heard me talk about moving from one job site to the next with that mobility, uh, can travel at speeds up to 19 miles per hour on the different roadways and very effectively move from one location to the next. This machine is used in general construction, utility repair on, uh, on uh, municipality roadways, out on uh, county roadways as well, doing uh, you know grading for drainage and things of that nature. He's demonstrating to you, one, the variable adjustable boom. He also has the ditch cleaning bucket. What you can't see there, he has a steering wheel in the cab. However, when he's doing this type of operation, so he's running down the roadway, he's cleaning, so he needs his hand on those control levers for all full functionality. We actually have a function on there called stick steer. It's a joystick control steering, uh, productive when the operator does have to have all the control functions while moving. So you can see how quickly and easily uh, he's able to handle a nice, uh, nice steady and consistent grade across that slope there. And doesn't have to worry about taking his hand off the control lever to move that steering wheel. It's all done with that joystick control steering wheel, or joystick control steering, my apologies. So as he gets set up over here, call a few differences uh, to your attention. You saw the M322F out here earlier. I called out that mono boom that you saw on the tracked excavators earlier. You heard me say a variable adjustable boom. Basically that is a two piece boom equipped on our M316F and contractors are really starting to realize the benefits that that variable adjustable boom brings to their operation. It does provide additional reach, additional dig depth in the different types of application that they're working in. So you can see here, the operator is actually extending that out provides additional reach, as I said, he's getting reached down into the bottom of that basement very quickly and easily. Mobility, you heard me talk earlier on the uh, M322, this machine actually has 23 miles per hour at the top speed, and both of those wheeled excavators are equipped with ride control. This also has hydraulically controlled angle bucking. Notice that the operator in the cab, this also has the quick coupler out on the end of that stick. So again, versatility in mind, for our contractors in the field. So the operator can be working on a flat service. He can come in, he can excavate uh, the basement itself. He can be working in a municipality, uh, doing road repair, not road repair, but utility repair under that roadway, where he does need you know, to be able to angle that bucket. He can you know, angle, uh, cut a nice uh, back slope on the, on the county roadway and things of that nature. Now you notice it has stabilizers on the rear and the dozer blade on the front. 
as I said earlier, for stability for one, because you're thinking about, uh, you know, those rubber tires and sidewalls are gonna be, you know, very, very susceptible to an unstable condition. With that, uh, with those stabilizers or blade, nice stable footprint for the operator, but let's say he's working out on a, a paved road where the uh, asphalt is warm, maybe it's chip seal and they don't want to damage that surface. You notice our operator's been uh, operating that machine with those stabilizers and blade out, <coughs> excuse me, blade up. What we have is a new system designed on the, M, uh, on the F series wheeled excavators. It's called automatic Heart brake and axle lock feature. So as the operator was traveling with the accelerator pedal, as soon as he lets off that pedal and the ground speed comes to zero, the system automatically locks the heart brake and the axle lock feature. So it actually gives that machine more stability in the in the, the setting or the application that he's working in. You notice here he's using that dozer blade, gonna do a little uh, grading there, he can move that material as needed, push that material around, do a little light grading uh, you know, on the different job sites. That axle, automatic uh, park brake and axle lock feature is a nice new addition. The operator simply pulls up. No more does he have, you know, have to think about, okay, I need to set this, I need to do this. He can simply pull up, set up, and start uh, operating, getting those tasks done very quickly and easily.